What do you mean you have no hobbies? The work keeps me busy. Yeah, but what helps you unwind? I don't follow. Wow. I've only been alive for five years, and even I know that's unhealthy. What if I told you my hobby was wings yourself. at cards? I thought... Oh, Sounds good. I get it. You practice all the time. With everybody. Can you teach me how to bluff? Find me some cards. Uh, the reason I rushed Spec Ops level 3 this time instead of research was I was able to just put people in here and get tons... I had two people going out for stuff all the time. Um, definitely gonna do that in the future too. How long have I been streaming? I've been streaming full time since August of 2017. My first ever stream was in 2010 on Justin TV. All right, turn order. Does it seem to do that great? See everything in the map. Well, I'm okay with it still being roaming pods. And then when a pod comes into combat, or comes into view or whatever, then that's added to it. I'm sure they could make it work out fine. All right. I, I think they can utilize some of both to make a hybrid thing where it works that works fine that way. But it makes more sense from a logical standpoint that not all the bad guys could go and then all the good guys could go. Of course, no one would just take turns either way, so it's not logical inherently, but you know what I mean. I'm just gonna do this again. Wait, what? Oh, not that one. Zephyr, there we go. Add in, it'd be easy to add roaming packs, additional spawns. Yeah. I'm curious to see what they do, you know? But uh, I have enjoyed the turn-based thing in this. I think that's part of what has made the game easier though, for sure. Cause you can't just get super screwed by uh, enemies. All right, so this is just gonna pass a week. Um, we have 60 intel or 35 intel. You need to click on these two because some of them, yeah, if ignored, um, the field team will be destroyed. So field team assaults, you need to keep an eye on. You can't just go after the most valuable one each time. We do need to do this one. So I don't wanna have to uh, repurchase that field team. All right, what's next here? So we got two options. We got Last Hand and Surge. So Surge just gives us a lot of credits. Uh, mercenaries and Praetorians there. This gives us a Plasma Grenade. Praetorians are present at both of them. So I'm gonna go here, especially because that would end up getting uh, to the Anarchy level. And we're gonna save our Vigilance till later. All right. Next unit versus planning versus everything. Yeah, absolutely. And then if you knock that next one out that you know is coming up, you don't have to worry about it at all. So it it definitely changes the flow of the game a bit and I feel makes it easier. Um, but I'm sure they can make it harder in other ways too. Oh crap, scavenger market. I've been saving for that. No epic. Yeah, we'll save again. Okay. It's in the same people. Uh, it's only a one encounter again. Do I want to trade this out? I don't know, man. Shock grenade is so good. I might not take the heals still. Maybe I'll take a heal on her instead of overdrive. Where's our friggin' heals? Someone was talking about this too. Um, multiple people in chat said that they have ran into a bug where they either duplicate items or they have a stack of items be deleted. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess. I guess that's happened to us. Are they on others? I made, I clicked make items available, so. No. No, there's my four trink from early game. Weird. All right, that'll be fine. That's why we save, yeah. 
What are we saving up for? Uh, for the intel? For the intel, we're saving to make more zones rank three, but also for... Um, I still haven't gotten any offers in this entire playthrough for the grenade that gives you two extra actions. Haven't seen that, so I'm saving for those. Also saving for epic weapons. How do you unlock the third utility item slot? Uh, it's a patchwork exclusive thing. It's just one of hers. Yeah, the motile inducer. I have not seen a single one on this playthrough. So these ones only have two utility slots. Patchwork gets a third from uh, her advanced training. Terminal does as well. All right, let's go. I have not used Terminal at all. I haven't even had her in the game. <laughs> that makes sense that she, she would too. Friendly VIP confirmed on site. Oh God. Uh, first unit through the entrance will be rooted. First unit through the entrance gets plus one armor for the encounter. All right, so we're gonna send everyone through this way. First unit gets one armor for the encounter. I'm gonna put that on Verge. Combat scanners. Up to you. Next time to you. When you send someone, there's a chance of ambush. Take weapons armor. Um, I do have someone out on ops, but I think it unequips them when you click that button as well. From what I understand. Yeah, in this one you don't get ambushed on those. Time to breach. Just busy work to get more rewards. Yeah. But I think the automatically unequip stuff unequips it on them as well. But I haven't actually checked, so I might want to just double check it. Uh, we got a Praetorian. Two Praetorians. A Berserker, a Dominator, a Paladin, a Cobra, and this Bruiser. Let's try to kill the Bruiser. He's the only aggressive one. I guess it doesn't matter if we use Lancer or not. Okay, so the Praetorians are extremely important to kill. So is the Dominator though. I think I'm actually gonna try to kill the Dominator first. Only he equipment on character is an APC. Weapons don't count. What the mods do? Gotcha. Nice. Alright, so this guarantees the Dominator's dead. Dominator will be, uh, will die to the poison. Okay, so this is a VIP map that we have to save the VIP. VIP in sight. So that previously how this has worked is they do not, oh, I, wait a second. I've done this map on the other playthrough, but it was anyway. Um, so we've done this one on the other playthrough. Um, once we save or get in range of the VIP, they're gonna start sending reinforcements. So we gotta make sure we don't kill the VIP kill as much as we can, get the hostage. And this was the exit point last time. We'll see if it is this time. All right, Verge is going first. We're definitely gonna use teamwork. Um, it's tempting to use patchwork or to teamwork patchwork because she can CC so many things. That guy's dead. Let's see here. Um, this Praetorian's, you know what? Let's have this one up here shoot. He's got a great spot. I'm really afraid he's gonna shoot to the hostage. I've never seen them do that, but it's kind of scary. And then we just lose. You've seen them do that? I've only seen something like that happen to this on the civilian maps, not to the VIP map like this. Oh man. It's really worrisome. All right. Yeah, melee. I've had melee do it. And I've had uh, these guys do it to civilians, but not to hostage, unactivated hostages. All right, let's see. Go on. Lash out.
Cobra and the Cobra, which I wasn't too worried about anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm going to bring Patchwork up for the crowd control potential. All right, Shot Grenade. I could go ahead and stun the Praetorian. I might save this though. What's back there? Is that a Dominator back there? It's a Paladin. Okay. Yeah, no reason to save it. Let's go ahead and stun him. Throwing grenade. Stun for only one action, so he's still gonna get a shot in, or he's gonna run to cover or reload if he needs to reload. Um. We could go ahead and add to the neural network by stupering something. Don't really need to do that though. We have a shot on the Praetorian. I think we just banish the Praetorian. Yeah. much that we can kill in this first round. Uh, so that Dominator is dead. Praetorian's stunned for one, so we'll probably try to stun him um, with our Chaining Jolt. Let's see. And the Berserker is so far away, he's not going to get an attack in. Um, we could kill the Cobra with Blue Blood very easily. And then we got the Paladin back there. All right. Let's go ahead and use Stasis on the Paladin. She can. Is he too far away? He's too far away. Okay. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna work on killing this Praetorian then. Tossing frog. Shredded one armor. Does she have the reflex? I don't remember if I equipped her with reflex or not. Storm shock shredder. Well, since I don't know, I'm not gonna risk it. Zapping the target. We're gonna go for the shock instead. Don't precision. So we get stunned for. No, he didn't. He's only stunned for one. Again, I'm not worried about the Zerker as long as he doesn't go after the civilian. <laughs> okay, duel is set up with patchwork. So now they're guaranteed to hit each other. Yes, I know that Stasis does not in turn. That's why I was looking at using it first, but I ended up not using it. I mean, I've been using Stasis the whole game on turn one. But since I couldn't reach any of those back there and I didn't want to Stasis the Cobra or the Praetorian, I didn't use it. Right. So we definitely want to kill the Cobra this round. So 35, we do have the Plasma. But that's a little bit scary. We also have Phase Lance, so I'll probably use Phase Lance to kill it. Uh, let's take two shots on the Praetorian in the meantime. Miss that part. But yes, I've, I've been using it on turn one dozens and dozens of times. Um, That's not a guarantee, so we're going to go with the 95%. 95%. Hits, he's dead, yeah. All right. And we'll phase Lance that, Cobra. So all that's left is Berserker Paladin. We need to start moving our way over to where the uh, normal exit is before we kill the last enemy. Oh my God, he's gonna give me a friggin' heart attack. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa there. Okay. <laughs> I thought I have never had them attack the uh hostage VIP when they're in not yet activated on the map. 
like that. Much, but I thought it was about to happen. What is the? Why is the Paladin just chilling back here? All right, Verge. All right, we're gonna stupor the Berserker. Hopefully, get a two action stun. Got him. Got him. Okay, so we're gonna start repositioning. Going to move. I kind of don't like how we have. Uh, I'll keep an eye out. Where we Thank have him behind that explosive. I don't understand why. What's going on with the paladin? I'm not complaining though. Not complaining. Okay. All right, let's move her up to full cover. Get the berserker. He's worried with things like that because there's any explosive around. Oh, that see, low okay. on ammunition. So it, I'm glad it doesn't work that way. But see, he shot at patchwork. The VIP, the bullet went through them. It missed patchwork. But if that had been a quest object instead of a person, that would have ended the game right there. So, thankfully, it was not. Yeah, it did destroy the cover, but not the actual hostage. All right, Berserker, we can easily kill this round. Let's go ahead and lead with that shot. Uh, and then we'll start working our way over here. We do need to reload next round. I can make it there. Okay. Uh, again, we're going to make our way over here. Does she still have line of sight there? She does not. She does not. I am still going to move her. I'm moving. She's not in cover anymore, but it's okay. Okay, we're going to jolt the paladin. We're looking for a two action stun. He's probably dead anyway after this. Berserker's dead to the shot. Two action stun. Perfect. Perfect. All right, go ahead and use our free reload because we are out. Back in action. All right. We'll free it at the beginning of the next round. Free him. I want to get Torque over here where he, she can pull him. Watch me move. If we need to. Got your back. Watch it be somewhere else this time. No ammunition remains. All right. Ammunition restored. This patchwork can kill him after getting the hostage. Let's do that. Reinforcements. Whoops, misclicked. It's not good. It's probably not gonna matter, but. The hostile. Only Lash had Go the tent get back to this point. Uh, no, I lost the very next one too, trying to rush. I was trying to go with getting no med kits in the beginning to rush for um, uh, Intel even harder. And I lost the next one too. On like mission three. <laughs> Big blue lead there. So then I had to uh, take my time. Um, let's go ahead and tongue pull him. You owe me.
Challenge run, terminal, no medkits. Um, I'm actually going to leave blue blood here right now, just in case. Because Patchwork can't get over here in one, one round. I'm actually going to leave Verge here too for one more round. Just probably, I probably should not have left them in the open like that. should have left torque out so that she could pull over or um, patchwork back over here closing in try challenges like that <laughs> so that hitman is going to get to go yeah patchwork cannot get there this round So I'm gonna have to yellow move on her. Oh man. Target weapon in play. Missed. Lucky there. Lucky there. Okay. If we can kill that Legionnaire and then leave, that would be ideal. I don't see why we can't. Uh, and now the bruiser. Don't have a shot on the bruiser other than uh, phase lance. Might as well take these shots though. Okay. I wonder how many kills our blue blood has at this point. It's gotta be crazy high. Sure, be like one square off or something. Okay, <laughs> I'm done. Can anyone cover me? No, there's no one here. Can anyone cover you? Sorry, movability. I know, man. She has such a low movement or mobility score. It's almost screwed us over a couple times. 